Are you having a bunch of varied symptoms, maybe chronic health problems, itchy skin, asthma, digestive problems, headaches? Maybe it could be mast cell activation syndrome. So in this video, we're going to look at the symptoms of mast cell activation syndrome. My name is Dr. Terranel, and in this video, we're going to look at the symptoms of mast cell activation syndrome, what different systems of the body, like cardiovascular, digestive, those symptoms tend to come up in. And we'll also look at some of the underlying themes with this problem called mast cell activation syndrome. So again, my name is Dr. Terranel, and if you're new to this channel, I want you to know that I'm making these videos to help you go beyond the basics of your health, whether it's a confusing lab test, symptom diagnosis, make these videos to help you get a better understanding of what's going on with your health. So if you like this kind of information on nutrition, health, hormones, et cetera, click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this one. Now for a quick disclaimer, the information in this video is for informational purposes only. It's not intended as a treatment for any health condition or as a substitute for seeing an actual doctor or medical profession. It should be used as an educational guide to deeper your understanding of your own health and treatment success. If medical attention is needed, don't delay in seeking that attention. All right, let's look at the symptoms of mast cell activation syndrome. So in this video, we're going to look at the symptoms of mast cell activation. Mast cell activation syndrome is a condition in which mast cells, which is a specific type of white blood cell, are overactive and they're producing and releasing high amounts of their granules, which are histamine and other immune activating chemicals. The histamine and increased immune activity cause a wide range of symptoms touching on many different systems of the body. Oftentimes people come in with a laundry list of symptoms, not realizing that they could all be connected through this unifying syndrome called mast cell activation syndrome. It can be tricky to spot though, because the symptoms of mast cell activation can vary widely from person to person as well. And it's important to take a careful look at each of the symptoms because they may not be related, but they definitely could be. So let's look at some of those symptoms. So some of the symptoms in corresponding systems that could be occurring for mast cell activation syndrome. I'll just list some of the systems involved, and then we'll go back and touch on the symptoms within that system. So the systems could be things like your skin, digestive tract, cardiovascular system, mental and emotional health respiratory system, urinary system, and even joint musculoskeletal system. So in the skin, you're oftentimes going to have obviously itchy skin and problems like rashes, hives, and this can vary from one person to another, the degree of which these symptoms may show up. Remember those mast cells are producing a lot of histamine and histamine is very itchy, kind of burny type of symptom. Digestive symptoms, kind of a similar thing. It's going to have a lot of those burning discomfort type of symptoms, but it could also just be pure abdominal pain. There obviously could be constipation or diarrhea, kind of irritable bowel type things, bloated, nausea, vomiting, but it could also be acid reflux, burning in the mouth and throat, etc. Oftentimes people with this syndrome too, are going to be more prone to sinus infections and thus upper respiratory tract infections, headaches and migraines, independent of sinusitis and upper respiratory issues are also going to be common because they are oftentimes triggered by histamine. Cardiovascular system, yes, there could be blood pressure fluctuations, something known as POTS syndrome, also has a lot of overlap with mast cell activation syndrome. So there could be dizziness and lightheadedness as blood pressure drops as a result of the histamine activity. Heart palpitations and chest pain can also be common in part of the overall histamine response. Mental and emotional things, yes, there can be a lot of fatigue and malaise, brain fog with that, memory problems and difficulty concentrating but the mood can change. So it's oftentimes they'll be activated or stimulated and anxious at certain times and then also be totally out of energy at other times. And it's because the immune system is going through ups and downs with that. When the histamine levels are high, people can be anxious because that histamine is very stimulating to the nervous system. 
Joint pain and muscle pain can also be common with mast cell activation syndrome. Of course, we mentioned upper respiratory tract issues, but you could also have like asthma and things like that going on. And in general, these people are going to be more sensitive to medications, foods, supplements, because those mast cells are oftentimes over-triggered, over-sensitive, and it has to do with something going on, oftentimes digestive system, but there could also be more immune regulatory problems going on as well. These symptoms can sometimes be triggered spontaneously or can be triggered by various factors, like I mentioned, food, environmental things, seasonal allergies, but other things that maybe you wouldn't think of, like stress, exercise, temperature changes, can also trigger some of this mast cell activation syndrome. Of course, mast cell activation syndrome can overlap with other health issues. And so even if you have some or most of these things going on, it's important to get diagnosed by someone that understands this and has a clear picture of all the details that are going on. Diagnosing mast cell activation syndrome isn't black and white, and there's no single test that we can run to tell you if you have it. So you have to take the whole clinical picture into account symptoms and lab testing really get the full picture. And that's why you should rely on your healthcare practitioner to make this diagnosis through a thorough evaluation. So how do I do? Does that help you better understand the symptoms of mast cell activation syndrome? If it did, great. If you still have other questions on this topic, or you want to see another video on this topic, drop those in the comment section and may do a separate video if it looks like it can help you. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.